about one more minute. Hopefully some people will join us. Otherwise, if you're watching this later, then that's good too. So, a couple more seconds before we start. Um, for this practice, we don't need any props, but if you do want to find a very big book or something to put your hand on in various poses, that can be helpful. Um, and of course, um, you know, anything else that you want to add into your practice. I have two towels that we're gonna use at the end for a restorative pose. And I have a washcloth um, that we'll use to put under our eyes. So you can use blankets, towels, um, pillows, anything soft. Um, I have a blanket here that we can also use for our Shavasana for a restorative stuff at the end. Um, optional prop is a cat. If you don't have one, that's fine. You won't need it. <laughs> So first, let's take a comfortable seat that can look like kneeling, that can be cross-legged. You can even sit in a chair. If you're comfortable, close the eyes. Let's take two huge breaths in the nose, out the mouth. of yourself. Feel the places where your body is making contact with the floor, with the chair, with any props. Allow yourself to become heavier, to yield all of your weight down and let yourself be held. Let the attention drift upward toward the breath and toward the heart. Maybe put a hand on the heart, maybe two hands or prayer, whatever feels right to you. Notice the space of the body in front of the heart. Allow it to soften and open. Notice the space behind the heart. Again, allow it to soften and open. Let the attention drift upward to sound, inviting a very deep, active listening to the sounds that are around you, maybe my voice, maybe you can hear some fans, housemates, maybe the refrigerator is humming. Inviting all the sounds that are around you to come in without judgment, without needing a story. And exhale, let it go. From here, I'm going to move to a cross-legged position and we're just noticing the heart again and start to invite some very slow and small circles into the heart. The shoulders, the spine, the hips can all start to get on board. And of course, as always, moving in a way that feels good in your body. Remembering that you are the authority of your experience. You're the only one who knows what this is feeling like. If it doesn't feel great, please don't do it. Start to slow down and then we'll change the direction. Starting small, it doesn't need to be big. And maybe even stopping if you find a place that feels really nice 
pause, spend an extra moment there. Again, slowing down and coming back to stillness. If you guys were in my last class at UVAC, we were playing with the six movements of the spine. So we'll find those now. Feel free to stay where you are. The first invitation is to exhale the spine, open the back body towards the back of your mat. Inhale, lift and open through the front body. Again, inviting movement in a way that feels good in your body. Hands can be on the knees. Sometimes I like to actually float my hands and feel the movement in my arms as well. We'll take about three more breaths here. So there's the first two movements of the spine. Next, we're gonna inhale to reach up, exhale, lean to one side. Invite the space between the hip and the armpit to open. Everything else is just extra. And over to the other side, maybe linking with your breath, inhaling up, exhale, lean. Inhale to lift, exhale, lean. Maybe you wanna stay on one side and just breathe the breath into that one rib cage, that one lung, into that side body. Maybe you want to continue to invite movement from side to side, or maybe a combination of both. About five more breaths here. Coming back to the center into some gentle twisting. So these are the fifth and sixth movements. You can have hands on the shoulders or even give yourself a little hug. Inhale to find length. Exhale, gently turn. And start to move with your breath. Inhaling to center. Exhale, turn and look. You can actually even move faster or slower, maybe even stopping and staying for a while. Experiment, be playful, be curious. Got about five more breaths here. And then move and stretch any way that feels good in your body. Allow yourself to just feel and notice like you've never been taught how to stretch. You're just noticing what's feeling nice, what feels like it's opening, connecting to sensation. And whenever you're ready, we'll come into either puppy pose or child's pose. So turning knees right underneath the hips Toes can be turned under or toes pointing behind you. Hips can stay high as you walk the arms down and forward. If this feels like too much, hips can sink back towards the heels. You get to choose. We'll stay here for five long breaths, all the way in, all the way out. Inhale to come up, hands plant right underneath the shoulders, toes will turn under, lift the knees a couple inches, breathe and hold. Start to wake up the, uh, the core, feel free to find movement here if you'd like. Keep breathing, strong breath. 
noticing any tension in the body and just creating a soft and compassionate dialogue with any tension that's building up. Make sure you're pushing into the fingertips, into the knuckle pads, Strong breath, if you're like, this is easy peasy, you can reach the right foot back, left arm forward, last few breaths, exhale that down, maybe switch sides or stay right where you are. Strong breath, huge breath in, create more space behind the heart, in front of the heart, exhale, knees come down. Child's pose or puppy pose, you get to choose. Three breaths. Inhale to come up. We're going to spend just a moment warming up the wrists. Push into the finger pads, push into the knuckle pads. Inhale the palm up and exhale it down. If you're like, whoo, this is a lot, you can bring the weight back. If you're like, easy peasy, find a plank pose. Same thing here. Whoa, that one's a little challenge. About three more times. And now come up onto the fingertips. Again, if this is like, whoo, bring the weight back. If you want more, you can do it from plank. I'm not even gonna try that. Let's go three more times up to the fingertips, push into the palm, push into the fingertips, into the hand one more time. All right, sit back on the heels. Let's roll it out for just a moment. Maybe some shaking. Maybe extend, contract, maybe a quick massage, whatever feels good. And when you're ready, we'll set ourselves up for down dog. So you know I love to measure from our plank pose. Exhale the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Invite lots and lots of slow movement, lots and lots of listening to any sensations that are arising. Keep breathing, keep moving. Somebody posted a note. Oh, Erin, hi. <laughs> Feel free to chat if you're completely lost or have any questions. I can see when someone pops up. About three more breaths to explore how your down dog is feeling today. Keep pushing into the fingertips, into the knuckle pads. Soften through the shoulders, soften the front of the heart, soften the back of the heart, let the tailbone reach up. And then we'll move into some um, flow, inhaling yourself forward to high plank. Exhale the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Follow your breath, your rhythm here. If you're wanting a little bit more, inhale to high plank, and you can come to a modified upward facing dog, softening the hips for, or forward and down any amount. Keep pushing into the fingertips. Exhale to down dog. Let's go for three more breath cycles all the way in and all the way out. downward facing dog. Inhale high onto the tippy toes. You can stay straight in the legs if you're interested in working toward handstand someday. Or you can bend into the knees, baby steps up to the top of your mat. Exhale the heels down. Bend the knees, ragdoll. Again, inviting any movement that feels good. Allow the head to settle down, the spine to soften and release. Noticing any tension, any holding, and again, just inviting a compassionate conversation. We don't need to try and change anything or resist it or guilt trip ourselves for not being more flexible. Just whatever's happening, notice it with gentleness, with love. Deep, deep exhale, bend into the knees, slowly lift yourself up, mountain pose. Feel your feet on the floor. 
Feel your body becoming stacked right on top of the feet. You know I like to sometimes move my weight around and find that middle place where everything feels like it's on top of each other and gravity is holding me here rather than my efforts. We'll take a few sunshine breaths here. As you inhale, gathering up positivity, sunshine, gather, gathering the things you want to invite into your life, into your heart. And as you exhale, the hands push down, kind of like a French press, pushing down anything you're ready to release, to let go of, anything that's no longer serving you. And we'll invite a few more of those, inhaling, light, goodness, health, support, community. Exhale, letting go of fear, anxiety, frustration, isolation. Inhale, inviting love, compassion, empathy. Exhale, anything that's getting in the way of those good things. We'll do one more. Inhale, inviting things in. And exhale, inviting a release, a letting go. Inhale at the top of your mat. Hands reach up. Exhale, fold down and forward, hinging from your hips. Inhale, half lift, look forward. Exhale, hands plant right underneath the shoulders. Step the right foot back. Oop, let me do this. I don't know if I'm opposite of you or not. We'll do that. Right foot back. Inhale, toes are pointing forward, hips are pointing forward, shoulders are pointing forward. Soften where you can soften. Find space where you can find space. If anything is painful or uncomfortable, modify so you can bend into this back knee. You can narrow your stance or widen it. Taking the time to get comfortable, we'll take three more breaths here. Inhale, finding the spaciousness in the body. Exhale, softening. And attention comes to this back knee. Exhale to gently bend any amount. Maybe you tap the floor. Inhale to lift. Two more times. Exhale, soften down. Inhale, lift up. And one more time. Into our front knee, lengthen up and back. And exhale, bend. Two more breaths, two more inhales to lengthen. Exhale to soften. And one last time. Now moving the heart, exhale forward, arms reach back. Inhale to lift, lengthen. Maybe cactus the arms if you want to incorporate a back bend. We've got two more moving breaths this way. One more. Exhale, breathe and hold. Lots of energy. Stay with it. Stay strong. As you move back a little bit. And then maybe bend into that back knee. Find a couple little hops. How does it feel to float in space? To have to find some balance. Maybe find some balance. Stay. Breathe. I notice my balance is a little off today. <laughs> Every day is different. Be in the body that you're in having the experience that you're having. Exhale to bend into both knees. Inhale, lengthen, extend, maybe the arms reach overhead. Two more breath cycles, you've got this. Now, keep this foot lifted. Lift the heart, bring the knee toward the heart. Oh yeah, we can do hard things. <laughs> Inhale to find space. Exhale into our chair pose. Two steady, strong breaths here. Let the hips move down and back, down 
and back, down and back. One more breath. Inhale to find length. Exhale, fold down and forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold and soften. Inhale, hands plant. Your right, uh, left foot this time will step back. Ground down through your feet. Feel that stability. When you've got it, inhale to lift. And then just explore for a couple breaths. How does your body want to fit into this shape on this side today? About two more breaths. This knee, exhale to bend down. Hands can come to the hips if they're feeling fatigued. Inhale to lift, lengthen up. Two more breaths. Steady softening back into your lunge, into our front knee. Lift and lengthen up and back. Exhale, bend back into that knee. Any amount that doesn't need to be big or dramatic. One more breath in and out. Settling. The heart starts to move you forward. Exhale. Inhale, lift open. Maybe baby back bend if it feels good in your practice today. Keep breathing, keep moving. Next time we exhale, we're going to stay strong breath. Soften the tension in the face. Maybe bend into that back knee. Find a couple little hops. Trusting yourself. And trusting even if you fall, it'll be okay. You can catch yourself and that the body is learning. Maybe find balance and steadiness. Soften the jaw. Soften the gaze. The muscles around the eyes. Bend into both knees. Inhale, expand outward in all directions. Finding the biggest version of the pose. One more huge breath. And then slowly start to lift the heart. Carry your left knee up with you. Yes, we can do hard things. Exhale into your chair pose. Hips move down and back, down and back, down and back. Three breaths. Inhale to lengthen up. Exhale back to your mountain pose. Notice what you notice. Step the feet wide. We're going to let the body kind of be soft. Just kind of turn and twist one direction and the other. You can get the feet and the legs on board turning and twisting with you. Windmill or shirt sleeves. Slowing that down, coming to center, right on top, left on top, just some arm swings. See if you can take some of the effort out of this. How could you make this easier? All right, and then my favorite, stretching. However it feels good to stretch, being bright like a toddler. You've never been taught how to stretch, how to be in your body. Just notice what feels good. And then my favorite, start to shake. Really letting the energy move through the body. Shake the legs, shake the arms, shake the hips, the heart. Keep shaking, I know it's funny, for five, four, three, two, one, and it was actually
actually a trick because we're going to come to my favorite, the shimmy shake, big toes kiss, or actually, sorry, hip distance apart. And then we're just going to rapidly bend one knee and the other, and the rest of the body just becomes soft. Let it all wiggle out. And the movement's coming from the knees bending and straightening and release. Exhale, back into your mountain. Notice what's different, what's changed. Notice what's the same, what's supporting you. Step the feet wider than the hips. Toes will turn gently out. And this is like the softest, slowest entry into a squat or malasana. Letting the hips kind of adjust and support you all the way down to the floor. Heels can be lifted or flat. Arms can reach forward, soften the head down. Alternatively, you can have the elbows inside the knees, hands move into the heart. We'll take five breaths here. If you're like, this is not working for me, come to the floor, find a shape that will work for you. I like Baddha Konasana or Butterfly Pose. About three more breaths. Softening where you can soften. Notice what you notice. And slowly let the hips move back in space. Kind of walk onto the sit bones. We're moving into boat pose. You can have this be supported with the toes on the floor, arms underneath the knees. Let the heart open, be long. Let the lumbar spine be curved. No dumping the weight. Letting this lift, let the pelvic bone pull the spine into that natural curve. If you're feeling really happy here and you want to add on, Legs can lift, arms can release, or you can lengthen out any amount, high or low. So you guys know I love my challenges. We're gonna stay here for nine breaths. If that sounds like, oh my gosh, nine breaths, then modify, make it sustainable for nine, eight, seven, six, Five, soften the face. Notice the tension, see if you can soften. Let the work stay in the core and in the breath. Soften the front of the heart, soften the back of the heart. The shoulders are soft and open. Two more breaths, steady in, steady out. Inhale, nice and large. Exhale, forward fold. Legs are long, feet can be flexed, pointed, and fold the heart down and forward. Inhale to come up halfway. And exhale, fold and soften. Inhale to come up. Grab your first towel or blanket. Um, I'm gonna use a towel and we're gonna create a roll. If you know that you're a little bit um, more stiff, perhaps you can use two towels. I have mine folded in half, so it's like a rectangle. And then again, so it's or more long. Noticing you've got kind of the raw edges and the folded edges. And then we've got this funny thing that towels have. I'll put that facing up so when you roll it, it's on the inside. Doesn't really matter that much. So you're just going to make a roll, and the roll is going to go on top of the ankles and then snuggle it underneath the ankles. From here, inhale the heart open and up, and slowly start to fold forward. So we're starting to move into the more restorative portion of the class. 
allow the texture of the breath to even out. Allow any tension that the body is holding on to to disintegrate. Creating a space of quiet and stillness and notice what comes up in that space without resistance, without needing to change anything. If something's coming up that feels a little bit more difficult or overwhelming, sometimes it helps me to just put my hand on my heart and say, there's enough space for this. Whatever's coming up, there's enough space for this. I, my body can hold this. I can hold this in my experience. I can sit with it, even if it's uncomfortable. We have six more breaths here. If you want to do something else, feel free to do that. Slowly allowing the heart to reach back up. Use the hands to lift, open the knees, and move that blanket or blanket or towel. <laughs> and then we're going to create a little cushion. You're welcome to use a pillow, blanket, towels. I'm just going to kind of fold them maybe in thirds from here. And then get your other one so that you have a little bit of height. And this is gonna be close enough that you can grab it when you're ready. From here, you know my favorite way to get to the earth is to come down onto the side and then roll onto the back. Alternatively, if you want a little bit more activity, you can have the legs bent or straight and slowly roll down using the core to support you one vertebrae at a time. Once you're here, feel free to find happy baby or any other movements that feel good in the body. Or maybe you just wanna lie down and be soft for a moment. About three more breaths just to be to move or to be still. And then release the feet to the earth. The knees are bent. I've been enjoying stepping the feet a little bit further away than usual, a little bit wider than usual, and slightly turning the toes in. We're gonna find a moving bridge pose. As you inhale, hips lift, any amount, arms reach overhead. As you exhale, come back to the earth. Tailbone touches first. Nice. Two more times. Good work, everyone. Inhale to lift, lengthen, open. Exhale, tailbone down, arms reach down. One more time. All right, getting those cushions that you made. Inhale to lift the hips and bring those cushions right underneath. Oh, no. It might take a little bit of finagling. Getting it right underneath the sacrum. So the spine is free to soften and the hips and the sacrum are supported. Hands can come to the hips, to the sides, overhead, wherever they feel good. And once again, allowing your weight to yield down, allowing yourself to be held by the prop underneath you, by the floor. Noticing the movement of the breath. Noticing any sensations in the body. If you feel really happy here, stay. 
If you want to add on a little bit more, you can let the legs grow long, creating kind of a banana shape with the body. We're going to stay here for 10 more breaths. I'll leave you in stillness to have your own experience, remembering to make sure you feel very comfortable and supported. When you're ready, gently bending into one knee and the other if your legs are long. Gentle pressure into the feet to lift the hips, move the props out of the way and soften down. From here, another moment to move any way that feels good to you. Eventually, we'll hug the knees into the chest, bring those cushions to um, either side of your body, and then we're just gonna slowly let the knees and hips turn to land on that support. Arms can come to a T or goal post, or one hand can come to the legs. Maybe play with a few different expressions. Notice what feels good, and then allow the body to soften and settle. See if you can take out any of the work, any of the muscular support, and just let gravity hold you here. Stay for the exhale all the way to empty. Inhale carries the knees back to center. Any movement or stretching that feels good and then we'll move that support to the other side. I've got a kitten in the way. <laughs> and then again, finding a neutral spine and then slowly let the knees and hips, the legs move over onto that support. Arms land where they feel most comfortable. And then take the work, take the effort out of this. Allow the whole body to be soft. Allow the breath to be gentle. Release the muscles of the face. Exhaling all the way to empty. Inhale the knees back to center. Roll onto your side and come up. We're going to build our support for the most supported, the most luxurious Shavasana you can find. So highly, highly encourage support under the head and under the knees and any amount. So I'm going to come to kind of less support. You can fold more to create more support. And then, you know me, be meticulous, no big lumps or wrinkles. Second towel or blanket, creating a roll or fold it so it can rest under the knees. Sorry, kitten. Blanket on top of you for warmth. And then you guys remember, make sure everything feels happy, everything feels supported. Rolling onto your side to come back onto the mat. 
Letting this head support support the whole neck and head. So it comes lower than you think, almost below the line of the shoulders. And then the last thing is to put something under your, over your eyes. This can be a wash rag, a shirt, um, anything that can kind of block out some of the light. Hands can come to the hip, to the sides, maybe wiggling a little, letting go of any tension, letting yourself completely soften and settle into the support of the floor. Allow the breath to release. Allow the bones to become heavy. Let the jaw rest slightly open. Scan through the body, notice if there's any experience of tension or holding. Maybe see if you can move the props to feel more supported. Or maybe just offering a gentle invitation to soften. Again, no, no forcing, anything that's forced is going to be resisted. It's just like holding that tension with an open palm, letting it melt and disintegrate if it wants to.
slowly begin to deepen the breath. Invite small movements into the toes, into the fingers. I really love moving one leg at a time as you bend into the knee and then the other leg and roll onto your side. Then release the effort of rolling onto your side. Gently pushing yourself back to a comfortable seat. We're going to end with a meditation. Um, feel free to create something supportive to sit on or to kneel on. And just as we started, allow the body to soften down. We'll take a couple of grounding breaths here. Make sure you have that lovely lumbar curve in the spine. As you inhale, imagine the breath going deep down, down to the center of the earth. As you exhale, imagine the breath moving out, connecting you to family, friends, and loved ones. Inhale deep. Exhale wide. Keep breathing in and down, out and wide. And then I'll invite you to do a gesture with the hands, which is called a mudra. We're just going to take the pointer finger and the thumb and gently allow them to touch. You've probably seen this mudra before. And then let the hands move back a little bit so you're not reaching forward and the upper body can feel soft and supported. This mudra is a gesture that allows the root chakra to be supported and open allowing you to feel centered and grounded. Um, yes. On top of this, we will add a mantra, which is a phrase in Sanskrit. Um, the phrase we're going to use today is so hum namaha. So allowing that phrase to move through the mind fast or slow, Maybe link it with a breath. So hum namaha. So hum namaha. Loosely, this mantra means coming back to myself or coming back to my um, purpose or heart. So hum namaha. The rest of the body is soft. The gentle breath moves in and out with ease, releasing any tension from the base of the neck, the jaw, the eyebrows. So hum namaha. So hum namaha. Letting that phrase act as an anchor. If you get distracted or if you start thinking, that's totally fine. Gently return back to that mantra. 
back to the breath. So hum namaha. Holding space for whatever arises, letting it come without resistance, giving it your full attention, and then letting it go, come back to this body. Feel the gentle pressure between the thumbs and the pointer finger. Feel the weight of your body. Feel the movement of the breath and feel that mantra coming back in. So hum namaha. So hum namaha. Gently release the breath, release the mantra, release the hands. Let the eyes stay closed if you like, and I will leave you with a poem. This is from one of my favorite books, Poetry, um, poetry of Presence. This is called The Way It Is by Rosemary Watola Traumer. Over and over we break open. We break and we break and we open. For a while we try to fix the vessel, as if to be broken is bad. As if with glue and tape and a steady hand, we might bring things to perfect again. As if they were ever perfect. As if to be broken is not also perfect, as if to be open is not the path toward joy. The vase that's been shattered and cracked will never hold water. Eventually it will leak, and at some point, perhaps, we decide that we're done with picking our flowers anyway, and no longer need a place to contain them. We watch them grow just as wildflowers do, unfenced, unmanaged, blossoming only when they're ready, and my God, how beautiful they are amidst the mounting pile of shards. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Namaste.